Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and I have another unboxing, untubing for you today. You've probably seen these tubes before and you know what this is. Well, you know it anyway because you've seen my intro graphic. Um, I ordered from all the Ever Moments this month. I've ordered from Evermoment and EM Fun Store before and I noticed that there is a third store now which is called EM Store. Um, they are pretty much all the same. They are run officially by a different person. But I guess it's like Huacan, ACQSD and so on, or the Sophie Beauties. They are either all one family or it's it's like franchising, I have no clue. Um, but as far as ever moment and EM Fun Store, they in the past sold pretty much the same quality of painting. They have a different selection and so does the third store, which is the reason why I bought from all three. And um, as far as, as the setup, the quality, the gift they give you with your order, um, they have so far operated the same. So this is from the EM Fun Store and there's the cat stretching because she just had a nice nap. Hi kitty. So this is from the EM Fun Store and I actually ordered two paintings. Um, but as you might also know, the Ever Moments pack each painting in a separate tube and ship them separately. Um, I've actually never asked Zoe from the Evermoment store why she does it, but the EM Fun store um, actually messaged me the first time I ordered from them, because back then I ordered two paintings as well, and they told me they package it separately and ship it separately to keep the risk down that custom pulls my order. So maybe that's the reason, I don't know. Anyway, it's very nice of them to do that, because um, it's always good not to pay customs, as far as I'm concerned. So actually, initially, both paintings were supposed to arrive today, but um, DHL DHL is a bit difficult right now, and it looks like they have misrouted my second painting. I have now a new status on this painting that it's going to be delivered, that it's going to be readdressed and delivered at a later point, which probably means tomorrow. I'm traveling tomorrow and Friday, so no one will be here to sign for this package and I fully expect I have to pick it up from the post office on Saturday. So the unboxing for that one won't be out until next week. You already know which painting is in this tube because it is in the intro graphic. I don't, but let's stop talking about it and get into it. So first thing I like to do is check the tube. And this one actually looks like it came in perfect condition. There doesn't seem to be any kind of bend in it. And let's just cut into this. I know there's the purple ribbon somewhere about here and I cut it, but that's actually not, I don't, don't worry about this. Um, I'm not going to reuse it anyway. I'm going to reuse the tube but not the ribbon. But in case you actually never have seen an ever moment before, this is how they are packed. Um, they pack it into this very sturdy cardboard board tube and um, wrap this purple ribbon around it, which is a very nice touch. And if you open this carefully, you won't cut it. <laughs> I'm just not in a careful mood today. And the cat, you see her paws right there, she just lay down on the keyboard, so I hope things won't go to crap any moment now. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, that is the 60 by 60 centimeter painting. So I ordered two pretty big paintings. One is 50 by 50, one is 60 by 60, and this is the 60 by 60. I called this one the blue haired witch. And I guess it is not hard to guess why that is. Let's get into this. Usually um, my tubes come with one cap shattered. So looks like it's the same this time. Yep, 
one cap is shattered, the other one is fine. Um, the inside looks like this. But you've probably seen that before. So. Oh yes, and I've, I've seen that on review posts in their shop already. At least the EM Fun store seems to have switched up the gifts now. Um, in the past, I don't know how many months, they have given these little hair ties with, with a bow. Some kind of fabric bow on it. Um, and this time I've got washi tape. So, let's get rid of the tube. So the painting is without a foam core in the tube which is not a bad thing because there isn't a lot of tension with rolling a canvas that way. We have an inventory sheet with every moment we always do. And this is the painting I got. And I've been looking at that for quite some time because I thought it was really, really beautiful. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it because I knew I had to get it very big. I always go big but I think to get the full detail out of this one you have to go really big and ever moment only sells square paintings as you know I'm right now not very much in a square mood although I have to say I worked on my um, colored pencil ever moment for a few days and that got me right back into the square mood I suddenly loved working on it uh, which was the moment I stopped <laughs> Yeah, I'm strange that way. So this painting has 39 colors. Um, and it looks like... It's actually interesting. We have hardly any 310 in this painting. I would have expected with a black cat and a lot of black in her hat and her dress. There would be more of that. But I guess they have compensated with 939, which is the super dark blue. Um, fine by me, honestly. Um... And let's look at the toolkit. You have probably seen that before too. Um, it's this white Mosfa boat people seem to like. Well, I don't really care for them. Don't know why. Oh, we just never clicked. We have this pink pen with a purple grippy with, with, with a three and a single placer. And I have to take... Uh, well, the cap is on. The cat is playing with a knife. That always makes me nervous. We have the Ever Moment tweezers, and on the other side they should be branded. They haven't changed that. Yep, they are branded as Ever Moment tweezers. And let's turn this around that you can actually read it. We have a six placer as well. Two big pieces of wax. First half of the toolkit, that's not it. And then we have a big, big bag of baggies. And this is actually, yeah, I've seen that, but this is the first time I've gotten this, this branded bag for them. So I've never counted them. I don't know if they give you enough for all the drills you have, but maybe. Oh, and this is actually also branded. This isn't just washi tape, it is branded washi tape. Interesting. So, oh, I like what I see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let's look at the canvas first, shall we? Put this all out of the way, and I'm probably not going to be able to show you the full painting all at once. But let's look at the back first. Um, these lines you see here is where the cover papers touch e each other and the adhesive touches. This is not a crease or fold. Um, it looks perfectly smooth. And let's turn it around. And see. One thing I have noticed with Ever Moment is that sometimes the adhesive is not completely down at the ends and it likes to pull up a little bit and you actually don't need to heat it pressure is enough this is a double-sided sticky tape so it doesn't need heat it just needs pressure um, it's the same stuff I use for card making and I don't work with heat for that ever so 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I was thinking. All this detail here in the head with the flowers. If you go smaller, it's probably just a blob of whatever instead of, of flowers. But these should look like flowers once they are done. And then we have her face, which looks gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So, get... Uh, doesn't really want to cooperate down there. We have her hair and the skull in her hair comes out beautifully. The cat is playing with something, I have no idea what. Oh, the broken cap. <laughs> In case you ever think about getting cats, um, don't bother with buying expensive toys. They are not interested. They love to play with anything that you want to throw in the trash. Much cheaper that way, believe me. Maybe invest in a laser pointer. Cats usually love those. So. Oh, this looks gorgeous. There's actually nothing in the glue to complain about. There isn't even a ripple anywhere. It's just perfectly smooth. Yeah. Perfectly smooth, as always, very sticky. Um, symbol clarity is phenomenal. Let's see if I can show you that without too much glare. Um, one thing I have noticed on many, many, many canvases is that white print on dark colors tends to get a bit fuzzy. Um, never with ever moment. I don't know what they do differently. Their canvas quality is not so different from some of the other companies, I guess. It feels less less uh, fabric-y and more nylon-y, if that makes any sense. Maybe that's the reason why the print comes out so, so great. I don't know. But it's, it's actually a joy to work on. And I don't see anything to complain about with the glue. I saw recently a few unboxings where stuff had gotten stuck underneath the glue, but I don't see that here. At least not on the part I've uncovered. I have about a two inch strip here that I have to look at in a moment. This painting is going to be gorgeous. Looking forward to that. Speaking of looking forward to that, my stash right now is insanity and I, I have to work on it. I mean, I've, I've, you have maybe seen my completed paintings. If not, please go a few videos back and you can see my two-part video about all my completed paintings. So it's not that I just buy them and don't do them. But what you see finished in these videos isn't even half of what I have right now. And I really need to, to get into my stash and finish some of them. So um, I am seriously going to try to buy less. And if I buy, I'm actually going to buy from companies I already know. And know that I like, like Evermoment. For example, from AliExpress, like Diamond Art Club, like Diamond Shop. I will still get the odd test painting from, from a shop I haven't tried before and find interesting, but not on the level I've done in the past because these test paintings, while I like being able to tell you which shops I personally would buy from or wouldn't buy from and why, um, they are taking a lot of time um, out of my diamond painting time and I don't really get to do the paintings I have in my stash and bought because I just love the painting and want to do them. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cut back on doing the test stuff. 
and I'm probably going to focus more on finishing what's in my stash, especially the, from companies I have bought from but haven't done them yet, pre-test painting when I still bought big sizes from companies I didn't know, because those might turn out fun. So, drills. As you know, I'm super picky with my drills and Evermoment is basically the only company I am trusting on AliExpress to send me good quality drills. It's a bit sad, but right now that's the fact of life for me as far as that goes. Um, and I was a bit worried when I unpacked my last Diamond Art Club. You have probably noticed because I was not subtle that I was not happy about the drill quality. I have started working on this painting and while the drills are not popping or pushing each other, they are actually too small for the canvas. So we have a lot of gapping. I've talked to Diamond Art Club about this and they are aware, they are looking into the issue and they have already made adjustments with their supplier, but it's still a bit frustrating if you are like me and you want perfect drills. Um, so I was a bit worried about that. But as far as I can see when I look into these bags, Evermoment still supplies perfect drills which is phenomenal. So they pack the drills like this very neatly into the bags and they label them with your canvas number. This is the, the canvas number, the, the painting number. It's also up here. Um, they tell you the size of the painting and the number of the colors and if this is bag one or two for this painting. So, and if we dig into this, let's pick colors where I can actually show you why I'm happy with what I'm seeing. So I kept telling you that I don't like drills with the divots in the backs. That has nothing to do with the divots as such, but the divoted drills are always those that are not consistent in shape and size and don't have the smooth sides. And if the drills don't have the perfectly smooth straight sides, they actually can't sit completely up to next, next to each other like these two are right now. There will always be a little gap because these drills curve inwards. They, they basically sit like this. A bit exaggerated. Oh, words. Words are so hard today. I'm sorry. Um, of course, it doesn't look like this on your canvas because everything is a lot smaller, but it's something I don't like. What I also noticed on the painting I'm working on right now, which is part of my mystery project, hopefully up in about a week and a half, um, these drills, they don't have a lot of knobbly bits, but they have the divots in the back, they have the inconsistent sizes, they have these curves. And what they also do, and I've, I've thought, I've I noticed that in other paintings as well, they are actually not uh, consistent in height either. So if you stroke over your painting, you will notice bumps, little bumps where the drills come up higher than the ones sitting next to it. That's another thing you don't have with those. They are all consistent. And yes, you might still have drills with holes, you might have drills with concave backs. Um, you might have drills that look overcooked, <laughs> actually really bubbled up and maybe even burned brown on the on the top. Um, those are all manufacturing defects that can happen. Um, but um, I have noticed that it's not as bad as what I've encountered with the divot drills, quite honestly. So yeah, as far as I can see, and I'm going to do inventory and we'll let you know if I see anything that is out of the ordinary here. But as far as I can see, these look damn good. I'm glad. I hope this holds true for the other paintings I'm waiting for. Um, like I said, I ordered quite a few. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So let's do some inventory. Oh, and, and another thing, they provide you with... Um, differently sized bags. I don't know 
if there are more than two sizes, usually it's two. So they say these are 800 and these are 160. Um, when I do inventory, I basically count them as a thousand. I always wanted to open one of these bags and count them to actually tell you how much there is probably really in there. Um, but so far I have never run out of an ever moment drill color. I've heard that it has happened to people. Um, hasn't happened to me yet. If it does, I'm pretty sure if I tell Zoe or whoever is the owner, the official owner of EM Fun Store and EM Store, um, that they are going to send these out to me right away because so far customer service, service with Evermoment has been very good too. I've actually ordered a custom painting in the past of a picture of my grandfather and um, that was just, uh, I wish I could show it to you, but I've decided that I'm not going to show any kind of private photographs of people in my family except me because I don't have their consent and I don't want to ask it of them because I honestly won't, don't want to tell them that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm not going to show that, but maybe I'll do another. Oh, look, they have added this actually last time. I ordered this whole writing on the back was not there but they actually tell you there are more than 160 200 in the small and 800 to 1000 in the big bags so yeah I basically count the biggest thousand and the uh, the smallest 200 and so far no issue with running out of drills um, also interesting they notify you that ever moment only sells on and the cat sat on the keyboard again and my screen of the video was gone so I wasn't sure if I was still filming or not. <laughs> Cats. So they also inform you that if you ever encounter anything ever moment anywhere else than Aliexpress, um, that's not them. Good. And they actually give you an email address if you want to complain about anything so you don't actually have to contact them on Aliexpress if you don't want to you can drop them a regular good old email I like that I'm a bit old-fashioned when it comes to emails I like them <laughs> so anyway inventory I will speed this up and we will talk in a few seconds Alright, I have to look where I put this one. I saw the 3865 when I sorted the drills, but it's not here anymore. Have I dropped it or probably swept it up? Ah, oh, here it is. So that is also here. I just grabbed it when it was not its time. So everything is here. As far as I can tell, once again, way, way more drills than I will actually need, which is awesome as always. Um, yeah, so first impression, a bit biased, um, <laughs> admittedly, because this is not my first painting from them, not my first rodeo, but first impression is another perfect painting. I love how it looks in the print. I, I'm pretty sure it will look amazing once it's done. And I will try to work through my stash pretty quick so that I only have the paintings left. I really, really, really want to do because I know they are awesome quality. <laughs> it's a bit sad to say that because everything I have had in my stash before I started the test paintings were actually paintings I wanted to do because I liked them. And then I realized the issues with the drill quality and how much of a pain a square painting can become when the drills are actually not good. So Rachel Ray has mentioned it a couple of times already. Um, we have decided to collab collaborate again with the words and we are going to hopefully soon bring you a few videos of us discussing um, what we have experienced with the different types of drills with 
um, different types of um, pretty much all of the companies um, I have worked with so far because the, it, this is not people like to call it a hurricane issue but it's really not a hurricane issue this this drill issue is all over the place and after talking to Diamond Art Club a few days ago I'm actually thinking I have a better picture now of why that is but we will get into this when we do these videos so stay tuned for that especially if you are one of the people who has experienced these issues and um is as interested as we are in digging into it and finding out what is going on here uh, and why because it's it's frankly this is supposed to be a relaxing hobby and supposed to be fun and not annoying and there was a time a few months ago where it was just annoying to me quite honestly <laughs> and i am like a bone with a dog sometimes i know that but i i really i really like this hobby and i don't want to give it up just because drill issues i mean you have to point it out you have to be loud you have to make noise and maybe at some point people will listen i guess <laughs> i hope so <laughs> still believe in humans um so anyway that's it for me today this has been a rather long unboxing for just one painting second part of this order hopefully coming up beginning of next week um when i should have the second painting from this order here Let's keep your fingers crossed and pay it won't uh, pray it won't land at customs after all this trouble now. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you next week. This would definitely be the last video of the week. I have no more things to film, no more time to film. Um, and um, yeah, let's take it as what it is. <laughs> it's just a stressful week. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great weekend. We will or I will talk to you next week. And until then, have fun. If you liked this video, maybe consider giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down if you absolutely have to, but maybe think about also telling me why, because that would help me improve, I guess. And improvement is always good. Um, even if you don't want to tell me why I'm, I suck, leave a comment below. I also like to read if you like something. Um, and if you'd rather shoot me an email, you can do so as well. The email address is in the box below. So Lola has curled up for another nap. Uh, it's this time of the day, I guess. It's 23 hours of the day this time, quite honestly. <laughs> and I will probably try to convince her to join me on the couch right now to have some much needed cuddle time. But enough for me. Guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your weekend. And we will talk to each other next week. Bye-bye.